What's up guys, Unmas here, and we're looking at error and perimeter today, so we're going to dive straight in with a nice Edexcel question. Uh, and this question shows a trapezium on a centimetre grid, so we're not given the dimensions on it, but it's a centimetre grid, so we can easily work them out. And we're asked to draw a triangle equal in area. So we've got to first of all work out what the lengths are, so there's a length of 2 up here, and 1, 2, 3, 4, 5, 6, 7... So we've got our A and B for the trapezium uh, formula. And next we need the H. Now the H is going to be um, perpendicular to the bases, which means at 90 degrees. So that's the height there. That's the H. So that's going to be 4. So the formula for uh, trapezium, uh, for the area, is area equals half A plus B times H. Okay, so it's going to be half of the 2 plus 7, and then we add times that by the height, which is 4. Okay, let's put that into the calculator. And so we're going to do 0 0.5 times 2 plus 7, or 9 times 4. And that gives us an answer of 18. So we know that the area of that trapezium is 18 centimetres squared. And so we need to draw a triangle that is 18 centimetres squared. So you might know that uh, a triangle is half of a rectangle. So if we double that 18 um, and try and work out what the area of the rectangle within it would be, um, or the rectangle that makes up the triangle, it would be 36. So if we draw a rectangle of area 36, and it can be any rectangle you want, I'm actually going to do a square because it's 6 by 6, and that's, I don't know, that's quite nice to do. So we're going to do a 6 by 6 square. Um, so where are we going to start? So here's a 1, 2, 3, 4, 5, 6. 1, 2, 3, 4, 5, Six. Now I'm not going to carry on uh, the square because otherwise that would give me an area of 36 and I don't actually want an area of 36 because if I cut that in half now then that area will be um, 30, uh, will be 18. So we can check that. Um, so we've got uh, 6 here and 6 here and the area of the triangle is half times base times height, which is going to be half times 6 times 6, which is going to be 18 centimetres squared. Now for this question you could have any other triangle um, that has an area of 18 centimetres squared. Um, I mean there are 36 as many different um, pairs of factors. Uh, that make it up. Um, I mean, I wouldn't advise doing um, a kind of 1 by 36 um, rectangle and make it into a triangle because there's just no space on the page. So you've got to be a bit realistic with it. Okay, next we jump over to OCR's offering. And this is quite a common question, the tiling question. Um, and we're just going to ignore most of the the question for now. And we're just going to focus on... Uh, how many tiles are needed for this question. Um, so the first thing we've got to do is we've got to realise that the tiles are measured in centimetres and the room is measured in metres. So all we need to do is just convert the um, room to centimetres. So that's going to be 450 centimetres. That's going to be 300 centimetres. Okay, um, now for this, we've got to imagine um, one dimension at a time. So we're just going to focus on one dimension at a time. So I'm going to focus on that 450 at the top. So if I'm laying down square tiles that are 50 across, how many will ne be needed for uh, to um, make our way across the room? So if I imagine, I'll just draw this in, so that's 50. That would be 100 so far. Then... 150, 200, 250, 300, 
350, 400, and then 450. So that's 50, 100, 150, 200, 250, 300, 350, 400, 450. So how many is that in total? So that's 1, 2, 3, 4, 5, 6, 7, 8, 9. So that's 9 in total. So 9 across there. And we do the same thing uh, with the width. So we've got uh, 50 so far. 100. 150. 200, 250, and 300, and let's just check that. So that's 50, 100, 150, 200, 250, 300. So how many is that? One, two, three, four, five, six. So that's six. So we've got nine tiles going along and six tiles going down. Now to work out how many tiles in total, all we need to do is we need to do six times nine. And we can do that in the calculator, we'll just know that that's going to be 54. So there's 54 tiles as needed, but let's move on to the next piece of information. The next piece of information says that the tiles are only sold in packs of 10. So we need to, um, we only need 54, but we can only buy them in packs of 10, so we'll have to buy 60. So we're going to have to buy 60 packets. Okay, next piece of information, we just work our way down. So it says each pack costs £20. So cost of buying packs will equal the 60 that we're buying times, oh it's not 60 we're buying, of course it's not, it's, okay, it's going to be 6 packs isn't it, let's rub that out. It's going to be six packs because they come in packs of 10. So if we buy six packs, then it would be 60 because it's six times 10. So it would be six times 20 pounds, which is going to be 120 pence. By which I mean, obviously, pounds. Because <laughs> it's 20 pounds. All these units, eh? Right, so we've got our packs sorted. So we're going to spend 120 pounds getting the the packets of tiles but we've got to pay um, a person to come in and fit them and this person charges let's have a look this person charges seven pound fifty per square meter so to work out how many square meters we have which we haven't worked out so far uh, we're going to get that 4.5 meters there and the three meters there we're going to multiply them together so we do 4.5 times three and this is calculator paper so I might as well use a calculator for at least part of this and that gives me 13.5 but the question says uh, any fraction of a square meter is rounded up so we're going to have to round that up to 14 so cost of Fitting is going to be 14 times 7.5. Just can't get my calculator out. 14 times 7.5 is going to be 105 pounds. And then we need to work out the total cost. Um, running out of colours, let's go with black. So total cost is going to be £120 for buying the tiles plus £105 for fitting. So I probably don't need to down the calculator, but it's a calculator paper, why deprive myself of using it? So that's going to be £225. Now as I always say with these questions, is try and write down to the examiner what it is you're doing. In fact, unusually for me, I've got quite a lot of working out up there but I really did that just to kind of show you easily um, how to do the question. But it's really important to show you're working out for these questions. So today we're going to end on AQA's offering. And I, I quite like these kind of questions. They're, they're quite rare. Um, but when they come up, if you know the trick, which I'm going to show you, 
uh, they're not so difficult. Now it seems impossible, it says the perimeter of one small rectangle is 15 centimeters. So with a perimeter it's impossible to work out what the side lengths are and yet this question is asking you to find the perimeter of the large rectangle. So um, there's two things that come to mind. The first thing is thinking about similarity and whether one's enlargement of the other. Uh, which isn't uh, necessarily true. Well, kind of probably is true, actually. We could probably work it out that way. However, we're not going to work it out that way. Um, what you should be thinking is um, uh, the second method for this is using algebra. Um, and algebra is not that scary, as a lot of you probably already know. Um, so the first thing I'm going to do is I'm going to label the um, length of one of the rectangles. So I'm just going to put an X here. And I'm going to say that length there, which is down to here, is going to be called x. Okay. Right. Now, if that one's called x, because it says they're identical rectangles, the small ones are identical, this is also called x. Okay, because they're identical. However, you might notice that the um, kind of the width of this big, uh, of this uh, right hand rectangle is therefore going to be 2x. And since the uh, length of the other two are x, the length of that's going to be x. And so you can just work your way around and all of these will be identical. And the key in, in this is that all of the rectangles are identical. Okay, so that's labelled fully and maybe an x at the bottom here. And you don't need to label both sides, but I'm just thinking f to make this easy. So the key part of the question is that... Um, the width is twice the length on the rectangles. Um, so we're going to just focus on one of the rectangles and we're going to work out um, what the uh, width and the length are. So we know the perimeter is 15. So we're just going to write down perimeter equals the length times the width. And we know the length is x, and the width is 2x. Uh, length and width are interchangeable, so if you if you count the one going across as the width and the one going up as the length, it doesn't matter, because we're timing them together anyway. Uh, we know the perimeter is 15, because it gives us that in the question. So, next thing is to realise that perimeter isn't that, that's area. That was daft. <laughs> See, so this uh, mistakes always happen, no matter who you are. <laughs> okay, so length plus length plus width plus width. And actually, I could have just written um, uh, length plus width in brackets and then times two, which just means the same thing. Right, let's get my head screwed back on. So it's going to be x plus x plus 2x plus 2x and we know that's going to be equal to 15 right back on track so x plus x plus 2x plus 2x is going to be 6x and well, I'm going to write in that 15 again just uh, to make the next step easier or more clear right get my famous tram lines in and um, what we're going to do obviously is just divide by um, six both sides so divide that by six and divide that by six and I think this could be 2.5 so we know that x equals 2.5 right so let's work out the perimeter of the large rectangle so going around nice and easily so we've got 3x there 2x there 3x there 2x there so um, perimeter, ooh, let's, go, let's pick a blue again. So perimeter of large equals, and then we've got uh, 3x plus 2x plus 3x plus 2x. 6, 8, 10. So it'd be 10x. 
Um, we know that um, x is 2.5, so it'd be 10 times 2.5, which will hopefully equal 25. So our answer will be 25. Okay, that's it for today. Um, so don't forget we do these every single weekday, Monday to Friday. Um, we've got loads more topics to go. Don't forget to check out the website on maths.com for way more stuff uh, and way more resources. Uh, if you've liked this video, please click like. And if you want to see more from us, please click subscribe. And I'll see you tomorrow.